Alrighty then, guys, this is my fourth Sim 4D tutorial, and it's going to be on the, well, an, as it says here, an Ivy generator by um, Thomas Luft. Um, uh, there'll be a link in the description, but you can kind of just Google it. Uh, these are some of the results you'll be able to get, so look at some of the previews. Basically, it's just realistic plantage and Ivy. It's fairly beautiful. Oh, that's pretty nice. Like, but this 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 isn't going to be showing you how to get a perfect render or anything. It's just how to use it, just how to cover the basics. Then it's rather intuitive, and you just need a uh, an amazing computer, to be honest. Uh, okay, let's let's get straight into it. So, what you want to do? You want to download it, and I'm not going to tell you how to do that because I'm fairly sure if you're using Cinema 4D, you can download something off the internet. Right, um, so what we want to do, we're going to start a new file thing, and for this we're going to get a torus as our example object, because it looks quite nice with it. Um, you can use anything, anything that's an editable object generally works. Uh, yeah, but this is just to do the basics. And so we just we have our torus here. First thing we want to do is we want to make it editable. So C on the keyboard or this thing here. Um, this does work with. Excuse me. <coughs> this does work with R12 and 11.5 and probably lower and obviously R13. Don't know why I said it in the oldest order. Anyway, let's continue. So we have our torus. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to go into the this the polygon mode. That's it, polygon mode. I knew that. <laughs> God. And then we want to do Apple A or Control A if you're on a horrible PC to select all the polygons. And then we want to right click and go to triangulate because the program for some reason only seems to be able to work with. Uh, an object once it's triangulated. I'm not sure why. Otherwise, it just gets pretty horrible and miserable, and everyone's unhappy. Anyway, so after we've done that, we want to export our OBJ file. So we want to go File, Export, Wave Front, which is at the bottom. As you can see, there. Click away at that. Let's call it tutorial because it's so creative. We want to keep the scale the same so it doesn't get uber annoying. Because that would just that would just, that would just be annoying. Uh, once we've done that, we want to open up uh, Mr. IV Generator. So once you've opened up, this is your interface, as it were. Uh, what we want to do? Want to import OBJ and MTL? Uh, Go over to wherever you've saved it, tutorial, click it away at that button, and then once you've um, tried to import it, you'll probably, you won't get it straight away, like it won't appear and you'll be like, ah, it's not working, well you want to, you want to resize it, for some reason that seems to make it work straight away. And the controls are not the same as... Um, Cinema 4D at all. It's like shift and drag to rotate, C and drag to do that, rotate, something else, and oh yeah, alt and whatever to zoom. Yes, yeah, no, yeah, space, yeah, C or space to like move around, I think. Yeah, C or space to move around, shift to rotate. Alt to zoom. But for this, we don't really care about that because we're just doing the basics. So then you have three little tabs here scene, growing, and birth. Uh, what we want to do, we want to go over to growing, and you will be sliders. You can change them once you kind of get the idea. But for now, we're just going to go with the preset. So we're going to, what you want to do, you want to double click somewhere, like so, and then it goes green. Just double click anywhere. On it, and you'll have a growing point or a birth point, which 
start to sound odd. Um, so once we got our birth point, uh, we want to once you've if you've changed these or whatever, you can you can do that. Uh, you want to click grow, as you'll see, you'll get these blue lines growing and going. And to stop at any point, just click the grow button. And just to warn you, every time you click off, yeah, if you double click again, it will get rid of it. So just grow it again. And what you can also do is, whilst it's growing, these do change it uh, live to whilst it is growing. So you can change the branching probability if we wanted to. Which we don't. That was a silly idea. Uh, I've gone the wrong way. Well, that was fun. Uh, yeah. So you can do that. Uh, let's just have a little bit of a grow. Let's go here. That'll do. Uh, or I'm just doing it. Actually, no, I was a bit feeble. I'm just trying to get the general idea. Not going for a fancy render. Don't want to munch up my machine. Right, so once we've grown it to our what our preferred growingness. I want to go over to birth and you can change these. That's just like the IV size and the leaf size. You can get rid of the leaf size completely if you want just a kind of actually I think there's an example on the website. It's a like a yeah this this kind of effect where it's just a frame. That's really cool. You can do that really easily without using the uh, leaves. So once you've got that to your preferred slider ability, click birth, and then it will, it will, as you can see, it will make some sort of object on it, and zooming is painful on this. Uh, so yeah, it looks a tad odd, um, gonna be frank. Um, right, so once we've done that, we want to go back to scene and export OBJ and MTL, so, which will save your Ivy thing, your Ivy, rather, so I'm going to call it Tutorial Ivy, because I'm so interesting, alright, so we've done that, and then we want to go back into cinema, <sighs> really annoys me when some people say cinema, not cinema 40, don't know why, bit odd. Alright, so we've done that and we want to go we want to go file in our object panel. And if you have it somewhere else, you may have followed my previous tutorial on how to do that. If you want to do that, click here. Yeah. It'll be there, I think. Just here. Okay. And now we want to merge objects and go to your OBJ Thing. and then we want to keep the scale the same because we kept the scale the same it will fit perfectly and as you can see it comes with these three pre-tagged pre, uh, pre materials yep they're already tagged on in the right things and what they are is the branch the young leaf and the adult leaf and now when you've downloaded your IV generator um, you will have put it wherever. I don't know where you've put it. Uh, what I recommend you do is you. I'll show you. you uh, go into. If you have a Cinema 4D folder. If you don't, make one. Um, yeah, so. You want to make an IV. Like, copy the folder over without the actual application in it. Put that in your application folder. Unless you're on a PC, I don't care. I'm joking, I really do. So you want to go in your IV generator folder, you want to go in the IV generator underscore Mac or whatever, Maju. Uh then you want to go into IV generator, and then textures. Ooh. And then you'll see you have three textures. Ooh, that was funky. Uh, you have the old, the young, and the branch. Now what we want to do, I don't know why I showed you that, just thought I would, because I'm funky like that. So we, so we know where they are, and now we're gonna get, at the start. We're gonna do the young leaf. So when we're in here, and we want to go in the color channel, and 
uh, the texture of the young one. Just check which one it is. As you can see, I'm trying to make this a bit of a more a shorter tutorial today because my past two ones have been obscenely long for something so short. So then, once you've added the color texture, you want to go into the alpha channel and tick it and um, add the exact same texture. So, as you can see, see if you've done my alpha channels tutorial, understand how they work and all that jazz. Uh, so you've done that. You can, if you really feel the need, add a tad of reflection just for realisticness. I don't really see the need. And you can also add bump if you're doing like a zoomed in shot. But when when it's this small, there isn't. There's no point. So you do that, and then you do the exact same for your adult. So let's add a bit of reflection. Get the exact same. Get the adult texture for the color channel. Click no for this because we don't need it. Let's do the alpha. Get the exact same texture. Isn't this fun? Uh, so we've done that. As you can see, uh, it will be adding them. Uh, but if you zoom in right now, you, you will notice they are the wrong way round. But we shall come to that after we've done the branch. Now with the branch, you don't need an alpha uh, channel. You just do the branch texture and if you feel the need, add some reflection and some bump. But right now, not really feeling that. So as you can see, we have our ivy, which looks fine and dandy. But uh, you'll probably notice that the leaves are the wrong way up for some strange reason. How do we fix that, you may be wondering. Well, you right click on the texture tag, uh, you go mirror horizontally, and then you do that for the other leaf, and you mirror it horizontally, and ta da! I don't see why there was a need for the ta da! But there was. Um, so yeah, you've got your that. Uh, I'll just do a quick awful render just to see, so you get the idea. This is pretty much just with ambient occlusion. I mean, it looks very realistic. Uh, don't know why I tried this actually, because you know what? Let's go for a bit of progression. Progression. A progressive render. See how well it works. I don't really use it much. Um, I know there was a big hype about it, but I don't use it. I don't really see the need to use it. So yeah, you get the idea. It looks like leaves. And it, ambient occlusion is really, 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 really good. Because you get the, like, you get all the black in between the leaves, which is the most realistic thing. If you actually look at ivy, it's all dark in between. So once you once you've made a fancy render and I recommend like a really nice effect is I once made let's find it shall we shall we I once made a render with the whole tourist thing because I seem to have some liking for them uh I I made a render and I made the actual thing like a stone kind of there we go it's kind of Rubbish. Actually. It took an obscene a long, obscene amount of time to actually render it. But as you can see, the ivy is lovely and interesting. I kind of just deformed the torus. I didn't spend much time on it. I just wanted that was when I first got it, and I was terribly excited. I was literally on the edge of my seat the whole way through. Um, this has been me showing you how to do this, which is the ivy generator. My name is David, or Dave, or other, or the fellow monkey. Um, this is tutorial number four. I have, hope you've had fun. It's been a roller coaster. A uh, roller coaster of joy and fun. And now I'm rambling. And now we cue to the end slate. Oh.